Welcome back to my channel. I have no idea what I'm filming today, so let's just see how it goes. I know it's got to do with makeup. I just can see the neighbour peeking over the fence. Strange. Very strange. So let's just get into it, shall we? I've already done my brows. I'm just going to start with priming my lids with this Put A Lid, Put A Lid On It primer by The Balm. Excuse my hair. Just the weather's shocking and so it's doing its own thing. I'm just going to powder my lids with Nude by Nature Press Mattifying Mineral Veil. Just so that the eyeshadows blend properly. I'm going to do a pin-up look. So I'm going to start go straight into the winged liner, which I have horrible troubles with. But I'm using this Precision Liquid Liner by Thin Lizzy. I never get liner right the first time. But that's okay. Just get a tiny bit of makeup remover. When you have hooded eyes like me, because you might be 30, like I am, when you do a winged liner, you have to make sure that the hood of your eye doesn't cut the liner, otherwise it looks really zigzaggy and it actually accentuates the hood. So you have to sort of bring the wing on a more straight angle rather than turned up. It's fine. It looks the same. It just suits my eye better to do it this way. It's all good in the hood. Get the fun. So now what I want to do is I want to push back a bit of the hood. I'm just going to get this contour shade and just push back the hood without putting any colour on my lid or at least too much colour. Because I want my lid to look nude. Naked. So to fix up that line and make it look consistent, I'm just going to get um, this black eyeshadow called Onyx from the Zoeva Metals palette. Yet another amazing palette by Zoeva. Now I'm going to jump straight into foundation. Um, as usual, I'm using this Models Prefer Energy Lift Revitalizing Primer all over the face. And then to fill in my pores, I'm using the NYX Pore Filler. Now I'm going to go in with my Mud Cream Foundation Palette and do a little combo of these shades to get my shade. I haven't even gone full coverage with this and already it feels like everything looks strange because my freckles are gone. Okay, I'm going to powder my face before I contour. I'm also going to slight, very slightly bronze up using my favourite Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in dark. Super pigmented, so I seriously can only grab a little bit to bronze, otherwise forget it. Crazy. I look crazy, man. I'm not going to do too much contouring other than my nose, which looks completely matted and different. So I need to bring my nose back to life. And I'm just using the same bronzer. Now I'm going to use this blush by a brand called C2 and the colour is elegant. Whoa. Yeah, that's elegant alright. So for the lips I'm gonna be using this Makeup Revolution lipstick in black and the colour is called Vamp Collection Black Heart. I don't have a black lip liner so I'm gonna to have to use a black eyeliner. Surely that's not too horrible. My lips are not falling off or anything, so I'm sure they're fine. Uh, I kind of wish it smelled like licorice. You know what I'm going to do? 
So I want to have perfect looking skin. I have this stupid little bump there that's not open. It's not exposed to the elements. That's going to be part of my look. So I've gone ahead and put on some ginormous lashes. I want to add something to the lower lash line without it being too non knoppy So just to be weird, I want to do a black dot. Just for shits and giggles. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and you think I look all right as a mime because that's how it turned out to be. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.